Welcome to Linda's TV show. If it is your first time of stopping by, you like the channel and the video, please subscribe and put on your notification bell so that you will be able to know when I upload a new video. In this channel, I bring to you information across the globe, what is happening in the world, especially Nigeria. So after watching the video, your opinion, your contribution is highly needed. Do it constructively in the comment section. As we are going to watch this video together, yes, I'm watching it together with you. Then later, we'll come to the comment section to discuss about it. Remain blessed as we watch. Okay, uh, may we know you, please? Yes, um, my, name right is, here? Uh, my name is Aloy Ejimago, obviously a legal practitioner. Um, I'm the special counsel to Mazin and uh, I'm here today with my colleagues. Uh, to, the right, to my right is uh, uh, Barrister Patrick um, Agazier, and also to my left is my colleague, who both of them made appearance with me in court today. His name is by Samuelson uh, and Carlo. So we just concluded uh, the hearing and uh, we are looking forward to the next day, which is set down for 7th of October. Okay, can you tell us exactly what your impression is about today's hearing? Well, uh, as expectedly, uh, it addressed a preliminary uh, matters of service of process and responses and counter affidavits. So the hearing was routine and uh, the outcome was uh, expected. And I think the real deal will begin from around that 7th uh, of October. And um, it's very, uh, what I think uh, is uh, very spectacular that happened today is that the seven and eight respondents, that is the DSS in Abuja and Omaha have joined the shoes by filing the account affidavit and certain processes related there to But the first to six respondents have not, uh, despite record proof that service uh, or process uh, has been affected on them more than two weeks ago. So um, uh, moving forward from the 7th of October, uh, these things will naturally have to have impact on the rulings the court will make. Okay, uh, what are the implications of uh, the non-appearance of uh, the first to the sixth uh, respondents here? Well, the court did indicate that under the fundamental rights enforcement rules, rules uh, in 2009, there are consequences for that. So, uh, when we cross that bridge, when we get to it. Okay, are you very optimistic that you're going to get justice in this court? Yes. As a lawyer, I should believe in the uh, efficacy of the judicial system to solve problems like that. I will advert your mind as members of the media to what happened in Ibadan before the Oyo State High Court on the 17th of uh, September. Um, Oyo State High Court is of a coordinate rank with Abia State High Court. And Ibuho's case, uh, Sunday Adeo Mualayas Ibuho, his case is in Paribachiria with that of uh, Mazin Mamekano. And the Oyo State High Court uh, has the decision in that case of Ibu has underscored, underscored the importance uh, of the state, of state high courts in matters of enforcement of fundamental rights. So I do hope uh, that before this court, justice lies for Mazin Mandekano finally. Uh, are you in any way disturbed or worried about the heavy presence of uh, security operatives around the premises of the court today? No, I'm not. Uh, it, it shows that uh, the case is considered enough for responses like that to occur. I'm not worried, I'm not intimidated, and I'm doing my job representing my client. So, and um, I wasn't harassed either. Thank you, Thank you very much. Thank you so much, members of the media. Yeah, the capital of Abia State. Of course, Uma, Abia State now, one of the states where the southeast Nigeria. And uh, we, BBC, we day here to uh, monitor the court session uh, for the case between Unam Dikanu, the leader of the separatist uh, group with the Nikolai POB, Indigenous People of Biafra, and the federal government. It been get case uh, where they are joined, the uh, way they set sitting for today, being the 21st of September 2021. 
where in Nambikano to federal government uh, on uh, human rights infringement uh, plus a bail application to a tune of uh, 5 billion naira. Uh, he can the demand apology also for the infringement of in human fundamental human rights. I will day for the court uh, where they hear the matter today. Although the court don't see it finish, uh, we've been following the proceedings of what happened today. We're going to tell you what happened inside the court today where a lawyer, a lawyer, A.G. Marco, and uh, two other lawyers may represent them today. Uh, you know, say, in lawyer, don't talk court, tell us, say, uh, they've been served as party order for the court where he had the matter for the first time. And the court will sit today. And uh, Eight respondents, nine then joined for the case, including the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Attorney General of the Federation, Chief of Army Staff, Brigadier Commander for 14th Brigade Nigeria Army, or half Abia State, the Inspector General of Police, uh, Commissioner of Police Abia State, Director General of State Security Services, and the Abia State Director uh, uh, State Security Services also. And according to that suit, Unam uh, Kanu. I want to make the court declare say the military invasion for in house for Isiama Faraku right here for Uma here uh, for on the 10th of September 2017 by the respondent or the agent they illegal, unlawful, unconstitutional, and the amount to infringement of the fundamental right of life. Uh, we we day outside the court right now. Earlier today, when the court session been day on, a uh, moto no moto fee pass this place. No moto fee pass anywhere for here. Uh, for this place as uh, they block a uh, road the cordon off road will lead to uh, the court uh, this place now it caught up a road then cordon off the road right from uh, uh, coming from the town uh, right from uh, umbike junction uh, down to uh, vca junction uh, but right now security presence don't come out because say uh, the courts don't sit finish and uh, we've been following the proceedings also uh, security uh, don't come out the court don't finish uh, sitting uh, this morning even as uh, security been tight uh, the, the court session been tight this morning uh, the afternoon day now security been they very tight the presence of uh, uh, police and army uh, been there uh, the presence of army and police been there uh, but uh, Kanu, uh, um, the Kanu also wants made the court grant order way to stop the respondent or their agent, those respondents will release or their agent from taking any further step to prosecute them. He wants the court to grant order to mandate him release from detention also and restore him to in freedom as how he been day on the 19th of June 2021. But we'll just quickly let you into what happened for court today, even as the court been received today. Uh, being the 21st of uh, September 20, 2021 yeah, thank you. right now uh, we did the premises of the court and uh, where we monitor uh, what happened here today. Uh, today, the premises of the courts. Uh, after sitting today, the courts, after sitting today, the courts being adjourned the city till October 7. I mean, say, now the next hearing will be the date of the next hearing. But we will tell you what happened for courts today. Uh, the vacation judge, then they call them vacation judge because you know, say, court day vacation right now. Uh, but uh, some judges, then will just leave some judges, may they attend to some issues where uh, get urgent matter, uh, like the court, like the judge will attend to this issue today. To attend to some matter. Like uh, the judge will attend to the case today, Justice E.C. Okereke. Uh, he even come from Oapia district. Of course, in turn on go end in the next seven days. Uh, but uh, he can order say, make uh, 
the CJM, that's the Chief uh, Justice of Abia State, rather, say they can reassign the court case to another judge. I say, up say, in ten or don't end, of course, you know, say, now that John Judge in the, for in a joint decision in October 7. And, but what's happening for court today, we say, preliminary matters of the process and the responses, counter affidavits, more like a routine hearing where suppose happen. As we say today, now the first day where they seek to stop that matter, of course, now that won't be happen today. And uh, the seventh and the eighth respondent be that one at the DSS, at the DSS uh, for both Abia State and uh, the DSS for uh, uh, Abuja, uh, then they don't join in the suit by filing their own uh, counter affidavits. Uh, but uh, the first and to the sixth respondents, they have not uh, joined in the suit. And they never join in the inside that suit. Uh, but uh, uh, that's why they be for here. This is Nabi BC Fiji. Now, what point do you be for Uman here, the capital of Abia State? Uh, they rain every day. But even the rain, you know, stop uh, the hot sitting today. As per, as per se, you know, say now, nah, urgent matter, a matter of urgency, and uh, they very, very important and compulsory. So, vacation judge now nice sit on top of and the vacation judge done uh, order the reassignment of this case to another judge uh, by the Chief Justice of Abia State. Even as the vacation judge can come from Abia District, you know, say uh, some judges will still attend to some matter, even though courts a vacation. So, now the way they go today for here, for Umatia, the capital of Abia State. Uh, of course, uh, this Nabi BC region, and they bring you live updates uh, from the court premises for uh, high court with the woman here, the capital of Abia State. Thank you for always watching Linda's TV show. I will see you again in my next video. Remain blessed. I appreciate each and every one of you. And keep on watching Linda's TV show. If you have not yet subscribed, please, I beg you to do that. So that you'll be getting more updates from me. Bye-bye.